Hey guys, it's Andrew from HTC One Soft Modder, and if you're watching this, you probably have a soft break device, meaning that you'll probably only boot into the bootloader mode or your recovery. This isn't a hard problem to fix as long as you have an unlocked bootloader on your device. In this case, I do, and I have TWRP already installed, but if you don't, it's a quick install. All you have to do is flash it from Fastboot. In order to do that, for, directly from the bootloader menu, make sure that fast boot mode is enabled by having that fast boot highlighted in red after you have that plug it into your computer and open up either terminal or command prompt depending on what platform you're using after you have that go you go ahead and start the flash process now the download link for twrp is going to be included in the full tutorial in the description so be sure to check that out and after you have it downloaded rename it to twrp Dot .img and place it onto your desktop. After you have that, we can start the fast uh, the flash process from fast boot. In order to get that going, first make sure that your that your computer can read your device. So type in fast boot devices. And then you'll see the serial number of your device along with the mode that it is in and that's fast boot. After you have that, you go ahead and flash to PWRP. So in order to do that, type in fast boot flash recovery and in the destination of it, and that is desktop slash twrp.img, hit enter, and it'll start flashing the recovery image. If you do want to have an unlocked bootloader, this will not work, so that's, um, so if you're getting an error, that's why it would happen. After you have that, go ahead and reboot it into bootloader mode, because now we're going to go directly into recovery. So just type in fastboot reboot-bootloader hit enter and then your device will start back up all right once you have your device back up to the bootloader menu go ahead and hit the power button to get back into bootloader mode go down to recovery and then hit the power button one more time to start entering the recovery mode all right once you're in your recovery mode go ahead and start up the side load option in order to do that hit advanced then hit adb side load and you're going to want to check white Dalvik and then white cache as well. After you have them both have you, uh, after you have both of them checked, just slide to white. And then side load mode will start automatically after that. Now back at your computer, you can go ahead and um, kill and restart the ADB process. So in order to do that, first type in ADB, type in ADB, kill server, hit enter. And then type ADB USB, hit enter one more time, and it'll restart ADB. After that, make sure that your computer can read your device. So type in ADB devices, hit enter, and see right now my device wasn't listed. So what you could do in order to fix that is unplug your device from your computer and then plug it right back in. And then just run the same command one more time, hit enter, and then now you'll see that it is in siloed mode. Also, if you're getting an ADB error that says error and then colon closed, that just means you have to restart the ADB side load um, mode one more time. So just hit the home button and then restart it from the TWRP main menu. After you have that going, you can start the side load process. So first, you're going to um, flash your ROM, and that should already be on your desktop, and that should be named ROM.zip. So to start that up, type in ADB side load desktop slash ROM dot zip hit enter and then it'll start sending that sideload package to your device all right after your sideload has been sent and your rom has been flashed you go ahead and reboot your system but if you have a gx package that you need to install as well because your rom doesn't include them go ahead and flash those now as well so to do that hit the home button go advanced adb sideload one more time and then swipe to start after that, you go ahead and send them on over. So to do that, type in ADB sideload desktop slash g apps dot zip. Now you'll change that to where whatever you named your GX package. I just put mine on the desktop and renamed it gapps.zip. After that, hit enter and it'll be the same process one more time. After the sideload ends, then you'll be able to hit the reboot option as well in order to restart your system. All right, once your GIS package is finished installing, you go ahead and hit the reboot system option. 
after you, your device finishes rebooting, you're, you're going to have to go through the regular Android setup process that comes with your phone. And after that, you should be all set to go. Um, now, this will not fix every issue that you come across with a soft brick, but it should, fin it should fix the majority of them. Be sure to check out the full tutorial at HTC One Soft Modder. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.